All right, when we look at trinomials, we have them grouped. So we're gonna, this is a different method to look at them. So for trinomials, you're gonna look at groups. So you can tell we have one, two, three, four, five of the same group. So we have five groups of, let's see what we have in here. So each group has an X squared tile. And we can use X, Y, Z, let's use Z. I used Z in, in earlier. So I'm gonna use, now, oh, it's darker, so it's negative. So each group has one negative Z. It has two dark skinny ones, those are Zs. So negative two Z. And it has one little guy and it's light color or yellow, so it's a one, okay? So what are the factors? Well, you have five of these. So we would say five times negative Z squared minus two Z plus one. Or if you don't want it, that negative sign first, maybe you'll put it in uh, ascending order instead of descending order. Technically, these are all equivalent, so they are both correct. What is the actual polynomial? That's the factor. So the polynomial is the total number of tiles. Okay, so if we were to look at that, we have one, two, three, four, five, negative five tiles, uh, or Z's, sorry, Ugh, try that again, negative five, because uh, they're uh, red, so they're negative, but you have five of those Z squared tiles. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have red, they're negative, ten Z tiles, and you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five of those single tiles. Okay, and again, maybe you want to, if you were matching up this, count it the other direction. Um, that is fine if you don't want that negative sign out front, you may see some answers that way, okay? Again, to check through, if you were to multiply the five through the brackets here, you're gonna get negative five Z squared, negative 10 Z plus five. So the polynomial, right, is this, the factors are what um, is in the brackets. So you look at the number of groups.